In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an easy sky replacement effect in Filmora. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, as you can see here, I have two videos here. The first video is this very simple video here. So I'm going to be replacing this sky that you see in this video with the sky that's on this video here. Something that's completely different, but that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Okay. Now to get started, I'm going to go over to my first video here. I'm going to double click on the video and it's probably going to take you to basic. You want to switch over to mask. But before we do that, let me go ahead and zoom out of this video here. Zoom out a little bit here. All right. Now there's a bunch of masking tools that you can use here. Uh, the AI mask is one of the new ones. Uh, I'm going to use the draw mask on, for this tutorial because this gives you more uh, control over what's going to be masked. Okay. So I'm going to select the draw mask and I'm going to go ahead and draw my path. As you can see, I had already started drawing my path here. I'll reset that, click my draw mask and I'll redo this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. So. And let's go ahead and connect these, connect that. There we go. Now we have our mask here. Okay. Now this is obviously not going to be perfect for this tutorial, but I do recommend taking a lot of time to make sure that you're actually getting uh, everything that you need here. So as you can see, I have kind of like masked the sun here, but it's actually, you know, we have to select the inverse because right now it's selecting the ground here or the water uh, in this instance. So to select the sky here, I'm going to go scroll down. On my uh, properties here, go ahead and select the in invert mask button. So click on that. This is going to select the inverse, which is the opposite. In this uh, case, is going to be uh, the it's going to be the 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 sky. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add our background right here on the bottom here. There we go. Now you're going to start seeing uh, the difference between the two videos here. Okay. Now, since I did this very quickly, you do see that there are some gaps here that I missed. Now, one of the cool ways you can actually uh, fix this is going to be by uh, let's select our video here that we added the mask on and I can actually use my extend uh, setting here. So I'm going to go ahead and extend it a little bit to go down just a little bit. You can see it go down here. You can't really see it in detail. But if I select that and I select the other video, you can see that it's kind of like covering that little gap here. Okay. Select our sky video on the top. Uh, move that down a little bit here and I'll select the video on the bottom so I can remove that. So you can see it's doing a pretty good job here. Now you don't want, you, you don't want to overdo it. So let me go ahead and uh, minimize it just a little bit here. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to go back to this video. We still have a little gap here. Um, so one of the other things you can actually do is going to be the blur strength. Okay. Because you don't want this to be a hard, you know, to be a, 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 a really sharp edge here. You want to blur it a little bit so that it kind of like blends in together. Okay. So I'm going to select my uh, top video here. I'm going to increase the blur strength. Let's start with putting this at uh, a six here. I'm select the video on the bottom so I can see pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, let's go back to our top video and I'll increase. Let's put this at a 10, a solid 10. I think that would be a good start. Okay. Put this at a 10. Uh, okay. Let's click the video on the bottom. Uh, that is not too bad. Okay. Now you can go ahead and tweak this a little more. Uh, so it's just going to be mess with it until you get to what you think looks good for your video. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go back to our video here. Scroll down. You can also mess with the opacity as well, which I'm not going to do because I want this color here for it to be at hundred percent. I want to see the entire thing. Okay. Now, once you're done, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, okay right here. I'm going to play this so you guys can see how uh, this uh, plays out. Okay. Look at that. So one of the other cool things that you can actually do here is maybe you might want uh, your video to actually match uh, the sky. So you can actually apply some color correction uh, to your video so that it kind of like has the same theme as the sky. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the video on the top. So double click on that and we're going to switch over to color up here on the menu. Now, if you have some presets that you can use, go ahead and use those. But if you want to manually color correct, uh, let's go to color. And the only thing I'm going to change is maybe the temperature, right? So that we can make it a little warmer here. So let's make it uh, a little warmer. You can see that the temperature changes here. That's what we have. You can also maybe increase the tint here so we can uh, get that reflection. 
Maybe increase the vibrance here a little bit more. Let's switch over to HSL. So I'm going to switch over to HSL here. All right, so I'm going to select uh, the red color here. I'm going to uh, turn up the saturation here, turn it up a little bit here. Now it's starting to look more uh, uniform here, okay? So maybe you can even put this at 100%. Uh, let's put it at somewhere here. Uh, maybe uh, lower the luminance a little bit, right? So it's a little dark. If we increase the luminance, you can see that there's more light here. Maybe lower the luminance. Maybe add some shadows here. So let's go to our uh, light here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, lower the shadows a little bit here, right? So we were at 100. Let's lower the shadows. We're going to lower the shadows a little bit here. Just a tiny bit. Nothing too crazy, right? Kind of like that, okay? All right. There you go. All right, so when it comes to the color correction, there's no formula that you can follow. Just do what's going to fit your video, okay? Because every video is going to be different, and you're going to need, need to apply different things. Maybe you will have a color correction tutorial. Just let me know in the comment section below if that's something that you want to see. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.